tell us where we're going tomorrow, miss? That would spoil the surprise. All you need to know is that this school trip is going to be beyond your wildest dreams. Look after these permission slips. Remember, school rule number 87C. No slip, no trip. So, I want to see you all put them safely in your bags. Come on, Dennis. In it goes. Oh, what am I going to do? I need that slip back. Maybe we can get him to laugh it out. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Oh, that spot doesn't make Nasha laugh. It makes him <laughs> Maybe the vet can get the slip out. The vet? I'd have to make an appointment. Go to the appointment, apologise for what happened at the last appointment. No, nah, there's got to be an easier way to get the slip back. We could make ourselves really tiny and fetch it from Nasha's tummy. Or we could think of something that wasn't impossible. Nah, let's go with Pie Face's plan. It's way easier than thinking of another one. Your dad can shrink us down, right, Ruby? How would he do that? It's not like he's got some sort of shrink ray. We can use my shrink ray! See, I told you... What? Well, of course, you're not going into Nasha, Rubidium. It's not shave. But I, I mean... I need the cleverest one of you with the prettiest eyes to stay and help me. All right, me and Paul will stay. You're right, he is very clever, and thank you for noticing my eyes. Oh, oh. all sorted. Count me in. Oh, cool beans. We just get shrunk down, slide down Nash's throat, and get the permission slip out of his gut gravy. Easy. Your vessel. I've modified this to withstand Nasha's stomach acid for as long as possible. See, Nasha? This isn't the worst plan ever, is it? No, oh, it is the worst. Worst? It's a German word for sausage. And it sounds like the English word worst. <laughs> See what I did there? No? Never mind. Ah, stand directly above the sausage, please. <laughs> Nasha. Oh, easy peasy. Any sign of a slip? Nope. Must have already made it beyond the gullet. Look out! That's where my best torch ended up. What's that all over it? Must be Nash's antibodies. Little organisms that attack things that shouldn't be in here. Why my best torch? And tiny people riding in sausages? <laughs> hey, nice mini micro dogs. Intriguing and useful. That's my Nasha. Even his antibodies are my best buddies. <laughs> antibodies? Slip ahoy! Just like these gut juices have already had a go at it. If it reaches the stomach, that much acid will dissolve it instantly. How far are we from the stomach? It's just past that waterfall! Miasma, high ruler of the most well-to-do moon of Incredulous Four. I'm sure that's awesome, but we're on a mission here. I need to get my permission slip. Do you mean this? Oh, sweet! So easy! Love it! Whoa there! Back up a second. You're an alien with a spaceship and you're inside Nasha. Keep up. This permission slip must be of great value. Well, I don't want to sound needy, but... I need it. Is it just me that finds this weird? Yeah. Who knew so much stuff goes on inside dogs? I will gladly transport you and your slip to safety. But I need your help. Behold what happens when I try to get past the antibodies and escape this canine incarceration. 
You must use your influence over them to get me out before they destroy my craft's anti-antibody armor. Stand there, Earthling. Whatever you say, Your Worshipfulness. Dennis, wait. I don't like this. We may need backup. Dad, do you read me? There's some strange stuff going on in here. A bad tempered antibodies, tiny spaceship. Antique bubbles? Tiny facelift? What's happening in there, my <laughs> precious and now very little girl? <laughs> what do you call your mother when she's shrunken to a microscopic size? I don't know. What do you call your mother when she's shrunken to a microscopic size? Mini Mum! <laughs> Why didn't we fit an inter-doggy signal booster? Oh, we're on our own in here. Dennis, we know nothing about this alien. I know it seems like she solved the whole slip thing, but are you sure you should just be going for the easiest option? Why wouldn't I? It's easy! Whoa! <laughs> it's okay, little antibodies. Leave the nice spaceship alone so we can get out. Hey, you! That laser is not a chew toy! The simple trusting fool paid right into my hands. What? Ah, did I say that out loud? I've been on my own too long. But now your foolish friend has commanded the antibodies to let my craft pass. I shall escape and take over the world. Aren't you a little short for an alien invader? I admit my superbly formulated invasion plan had one tiny flaw. <laughs> I made the minor error of thinking you earthlings were as small as me, whereas in fact you were just very far away. Earthlings! You will now take me to the device which shrank you, reverse its mechanism, and grow me big enough to take over the world! <laughs> Say what? I don't think so, your high and mighty ness. JJ, you free the sausage, I'll get the slip. Ruby, can you set a course out of here? Um, I uh, think we'll take the scenic route. Let's head for the head. <laughs> You'll never defeat mine! <laughs> Upgrading to ticklish robot arms! What was I thinking? <laughs> Quake, you earthlings! It just uh, slipped away. No one fires lasers inside my dog! <whistles> Antibodies, attack! Oh, for goodness sake! Not again! <laughs> We're going to need a bigger sausage. If we can just make it out of the digestive tract and into the respiratory system... Huh? Out of the eaty bits and into the breathy bits... Then it's all down to Nasha! My obedium! Please, please be all right! What do we do now? Dennis, give us a sign! <laughs> as if things weren't bad enough, they've all caught colds at the same time! Listen! <laughs> They're giving us the sign I asked for! Ready, Nasha? <laughs> <laughs> Was clean and now it's snot. Ah, there you are. Up you comes. Nasha. <laughs> oh, you're okay. Yes, good dog. That was one fantastic voyage, Dad. There was this micro alien with a tiny spaceship and these proper fierce antibody things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm delighted that you're all safe, but the mission report will have to wait until we've cleaned up this mess. My lab must be spotless for your school trip tomorrow. What? 
We went through all of that so I wouldn't miss a trip to the place we're already in. Surprise! <laughs> I'll get you next time, Dennis! As soon as I get out of this canine and multiply my size by several thousand times and work out how to stop my spaceship being ticklish. <laughs> to the dawning of the morning of the 100th annual Brawny Bean Race, when our more loco locals gather to chase a giant bean through Beanotown Park. Can this local pensioner make it a record 14 wins in a row and claim another free year's supply of Brawny Beans? Brawny Beans, the best beans for all your bean needs. I, for one, cannot wait to find out, but I'll have to... Because it doesn't start till later. Check your grand, Dennis. She's gonna smash that brawny bean record. She's unstoppable. She's fearless. She's hurt her foot. Huh? What happened this time, Gran? Oh, just a tiny skateboarding accident. <laughs> Crazy races for at least a month, Doctor's orders. But they can't have the race without you. You're the greatest brawny beaner of all time. No, there was another, perhaps even greater than me. He showed up one year and blew the rest of us away. Mr Brawny Bean, they called him. So light-footed, you never heard him coming, apart from a strange jangling sound. Thirteen years in a row he won, and then he vanished into thin air. Today, I was finally going to beat his record. But now... <laughs> it's so nice to hear your family's returning to its natural state, Dennis. Being losers. <laughs> Oh, letting Walter diss the proud family name? Not likely. Gran, I'm going to enter the brawny bean race for you. Uh, Dennis, you always enter the race. All of us do? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. True, but this time, I'm going to win it. Go, Dennis! Win? <laughs> Not if I've got anything to do with it, which of course I will. Dennis, 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 Dennis! Please stop chanting your own name, Dennis. Oh. I'm off to the station cupboard for some beige paper clips and a bit of peace. Not long now, Nasha. That brawny bean is as good as ours. You catch the brawny bean? You couldn't even, I don't know, jump from one desk to another. I could do that with my eyes closed. Prove it. I will prove it. Check this proof! That Mrs. Creature! Dennis is causing a desk-related disturbance! What? Rule 314B! No unauthorised desk jumping! Detention after school! <laughs> but I missed the brawny bean race! Good luck at the race, Dennis. Oh, sorry, you won't be there, will you? <laughs> Sucks you're missing it, Dennis. I'm not missing anything. I'm busting out of here. It's a near impossibility. No one's skipped detention since the new headmaster started. My brother reckons there's a dark force stalking the halls on the lookout for any pupil without a pre-approved bathroom pass. He calls it the scary looking for pupils without a bathroom pass thing. Catchy. But scary thing or not, you're going to need our help to get out of here. Thank you, Ralph. All right. Rule 183. Pupils fraternising with a detentionee may also be given detention. <gasps> Go on, split or you'll miss the race too. It's down to you and me, Nasha. We're busting out and here's how. Phase one, the canteen. Primary objective, avoid dinner lady. Phase two, 
the master palm. Don't get distracted by the wall chart, Smasher. The algebra stuff will scramble your brain. <laughs> Phase three, creep past the headmaster's office, any sound, and we'll be in double detention for the rest of our lives. <laughs> we hit the exit and... We'll be Bruni beaning it in no time. Stop prattling, Dennis. In fact, right, I must not prattle 100 times. Oh, hey, what's... Th play this from a friend. <laughs> what's this? Dennis, how unusually thoughtful. Teaching can be tough. So why not permanently expel some stress with my revitalizing teacher size workout? And wipe that <gasps> whiteboard. And up and down. Up Ooh. and down. Up Ooh. and down. Up I've and never down. felt so up. alive. You can do it, ladies. Thanks, Mystery Note Lever. Whoever you are, <laughs> guess this won't be so tricky after all. <laughs> Scary looking for pupils without a bathroom pass thing. Run! Time to test my latest culinary wonder. Mm, perfect. There's no way past. <laughs> Olive's food sticks to the roof of your mouth, so no wonder it makes super strong ceiling loop. This is it, Nasha. The maths department. Remember, whatever you do... Don't look at the walls! Fight it! Don't give in! Please! Or our days are numbered! Dennis! Dennis! <laughs> The headmaster's door's open. The left and the right, and we'll be right by the front door, right? Or is that left? Your nostrils rock. So long, Bastry. Huh? It's locked. I'll protect you, Nasha. Not the scary looking for pupils without a bathroom pass thingy. You're Ralph. I am. A friend. The note with the DVD, it was from you. But why? There's no time to explain. The brawny bean awaits. So light footed, you never heard him coming, apart from a strange jangling sound. Laters! You're Mr. Brawny Bean, aren't you? <laughs> I haven't gone by that name for a long time now. Gren said you were the best. Yeah, I was, but I became arrogant. I blew all my brawny beans, neglected my caretaker duties. I got rid of one mop so no one would recognise me. I took up another. I returned to my true calling, making floors shiny and cleaning up sick. <laughs> Dennis, wait! Before you go, let me share the secret to winning the brawny bean race. Run fast. And catch the bean. Uh, great. Thanks. On your marks, get set. I'll thank you very much. A no-show from Dennis. The dream is over. Hope you're enjoying detention, Dennis. Knew he wouldn't let me down! No! It can't be! <coughs> Dennis! You got out! Oh, you're free! <laughs> you haven't won yet, Dennis!
I'm going to catch it! I'm not... <laughs> so, what now? <sighs> we need to grow a new bean. The race will be rerun in six months' time! Yeah. Gran, your leg will be better. You can totally smash the brawny bean record. Booyah! <laughs> 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 you that you are breaking regulation noise levels by one millionth of a decibel. So, by order of the mayor, my father, I hereby stop you making that abominable racket. <laughs> <laughs> Walter can't really do that, can he? No way. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all you've got? Smell something, Nasha. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call going out with a banger! <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh. That sausage lasso prank was impressive! <laughs> call me the sausage lasso king? We need to work on that name. No way, Ralph! You're the Prank Master General! The Who Master What now? He's only the top prankster in the whole country! This guy is my hero! <laughs> Trick sticky business card! Genius! I've been watching you, Dennis, and the time's come for me to show you something. Something very noisy, hairy, squishy, smelly, purple, made of jam! Hmm. The Prankypedia. It holds the secret to the greatest pranks in history. Fantastic. Wait, I know why I'm here. You have protected the book for many years against many foes, but now you must pass it down to a worthy successor before you get too old. Sure, let's go with that. In ages past, pranksters fought to win the Prankypedia in a prank battle, but no more. Interesting. Oh, go away, Walter. You're crashing my big moment. Ralph's about to give me the Prankopedia. Not so fast, young Pranker One. First, you must be trained to become a prank master. It takes hard work. Focus. Yeah, yeah, focus, right. Trust me, oh Pranky One, I'm already awesome. <laughs> um, I would like to challenge Dennis for the book, for I too am really into pranks. You a <laughs> prankster? <laughs> Hush, furry companion. Once a challenge has been made, it cannot be withdrawn. There must be a prank battle! Three rounds. Last pranks to standing wins the book. Ha! May the best joke maker win! You have no chance! Uh, maybe I'll take you up on a bit of that prank training, just to be on the safe side. Train. We must travel to a place unchanged for many centuries. Olive's Grease Trap? The school hall? The prank force is strong with you. Your father has it. Your grandmother has it. Can we just get to the bit where I learn some tasty pranks? Ah, hasty you are. What's with the talking backwards? Wise mentor thing it is. Here, the weapon of a prank master. Blam! A tin of trick polish! Yeah, just a tin of polish. Pine fresh, it's a, a non-brand one. Come! Huh? Oh, prank master, how will polishing the whole floor help me win the prankopedia? To become the cat, first you must learn to be... The scratching post. Is not an answer. Now, can we get on with some actual pranks? 
Next chore, I, I mean, exercise. Be at one with the gum. What? Oh, no, I can't. My hand won't let me do anything this pure isle and silly. Um, if you hate pranks, why do you want to win that book anyway? So Dennis can't have it. Oh, imagine his face if I got the Prankopedia and destroyed it before he could learn any of the tricks. Oh, now surely if a clot like Dennis can play pranks, then I uh, can... <laughs> Dear Bertie, in a spot of excruciating pain, are we? <laughs> Wait, I did it. I pulled a prank. And I think I feel... <gasps> enjoyment! <laughs> Technically, this is more cool than funny. <laughs> ha! I did it again! <laughs> Look out, world! There's a new prankster in town! Uh, Walter? Oh. Oh, Bash Street's cool kids chew a lot of gum. <sighs> you know, Nasha, I'm starting to wonder. Next, leaf blowing. What? I'm here to learn pranks and you've just got us cleaning. Trust me, you must. Done with this, I am. Prankopedia on my own, I can win. Around, see you. <laughs> need some loopy old janitor's help anyway. You might. Walter's been pulling pranks all over town. Or what he calls pranks. Posty got a special delivery. <laughs> Olive got a shock. And one of Butch Butcher's pies fought back. <laughs> the Butcher has left the building. <laughs> Relax. Walter's never going to beat me. <laughs> Enjoying that. Walter! When I win that Prankopedia, I'm not going to destroy it. I'm keeping it. No one will be safe. Never gonna happen. Oh! 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 oh. So, I guess if you still wanted to train me, I wouldn't mind too much. Apology accepted. <laughs> Besides, hmm. You are our only hope. It is your Dennis Tinney. Can we just cut to the training montage? No. What? I'm just kidding. Come on. Now you are ready to learn the secret of the Prank Force. The power to see pranks around you. Close your eyes. Look deep within. Concentrate. Mm, yes, I can see. I can see you're about to... Oh, put a hamster up my jumper. Oh, whoa, 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 ready. Three rounds. The last prankster standing wins the Prankypedia. Round one! Prank! <laughs> you slippery little... Dennis wins! Yeah! Why should you never fight a joke? I don't know. Why should you never fight a joke? Because they always have a punchline! Round two! Break! Walter wins! Round three! Break! Dennis, what letter follows Q? Ah! Correct! Knockout! <sighs> Dennis, use the prank force. Prank sauce? 
No, the prank force. Oh, right. Giving up? Oh, I am the undisputed supreme prank leader. Since when could you see the future? The force will be with me always. It's not an answer. So the book was a prank all along? You didn't think I was really retiring, did you? No, pranking keeps me young. No hard feelings? I was kind of hoping to read the Prankopedia. The real book is safely hidden, waiting. Respect, Ralph. Great mentor you are. But, uh, pranked you still I have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, you horrible lot! When Mayor Brown says it would be a crime to miss his unfeasibly large gold exhibit, he means it. Count yourselves lucky my father's allowing it to be shown at all. <laughs> shown off, more like. We merely suggest everyone get to look at the sort of riches you could be enjoying if you were as splendidly successful as we are. <laughs> merely suggest? Attendance is compulsory. The mayor even sent Mrs Creature to get her eyes tested so she can admire it properly. Professor Screwtop, I'm here for my 20-year eye test. <laughs> as if I need it. Oh, uh, Mrs Creature? This is the butcher's. Nonsense! I'll have these frames! I'll take you to Professor Screwtop's lab. Oh, and can I interest you in my new line of frozen sausages? Ideal for a hot day! Yes, ma'am! Hey, Grant. How's it going? Blamtastic, thanks, love. Rasha and I just about recovered from yesterday's Gammon Wealth Games. Oh, she did so well at the chocolate truffle snuffle. Not so great at the pig rodeo, though. Epic sugar rush from all those chocks. If it wasn't for that, we'd have totally come first. Silver? Hardly as impressive as an unfeasibly large collection of... God! Me, It's all right. Just look at the chart and tell me what you can see. It's an elephant tap dancing while balancing jelly on his head. Excellent! I got it right. No, but I need someone just like you to test my latest invention, the tech specs. Oh. Up, 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 not too close now. No briefing of the gold. <laughs> 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 The tech specs have all manner of uber smart vision modes. Now, tell me, what can you see? Oh, the intricate wings of a butterfly, every blade of grass, all oh, the crumbs in your moustache. Oh, oh. Need me. As my more rambunctious pupils would put it, booyah! Mrs. Creature, respect! Uh, didn't there used to be some gold in this gold exhibit? <laughs> Don't panic! I'm an expert! In forensic investigations now. Wait to put my magnifying glass. Let me. Mud, a black hair. I spy with my uber boosted eyes. Evidence. <gasps> a perfect match. Dennis, arrest him at once. Oh, I've been framed. You've got to help me prove I didn't do it. Uh... Ah! Let's get out of here! Quick! <laughs> That's the way! No, oh, no! That's the way!
amazing. We lost them. Now to figure out who took the gold so we can prove you're innocent. But who could have planted those clues? Even Paul's baffled. Shh! They're here! Night vision mode! <gasps> Fugitive detection mode! They're close! I've got to hack into the mainframe of those specs! Ha-ha! <laughs> gotcha! Nice! You're only engaged X-ray mode! <laughs> Good job she didn't know it was X-ray mode! Come on! Decided. He's definitely not hiding in there while the butcher's out delivering frozen bangs. No way. Uh, not at all. Well, I'm convinced. Better look elsewhere, Mrs. Creature. Activating lie detector mode. Is Dennis in the butcher's? Yes. No. Wait. No. Hang on. I'm definitely not meant to confuse you with a double bluff. Watch him, Sergeant. I'm going in. <gasps> Everyone, be quiet! <laughs> hmm, I see the rest of you, but no sign of Dennis. What just happened? The specs must be scanning for heat signatures. Those frozen sausages made you invisible to them. Any sign of the perpetrator, you Not a sausage! Now your pants are full of frozen sausages too. You're even more invisible. B -b Better catch the real thief soon before I catch cold. See you later, Sergeant Slipper. Oh, bye, Pathface, Ruby, JJ, Nasha, Latest Dennis. Wait, what? Dennis! Freeze! I'm frozen enough, thanks. Run! What did the policeman say to his belly button? I don't know. What did the policeman say to his belly button? You are under a vest! Master <laughs> Pepper! Oh. 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 What's that? Rasha, what's got into it? Whoa, I'm getting massive carb readings. Another sugar rush. If Rasha crashes into Creature, it'll be Pig Rodeo Mayhem times 100. Pig Rodeo? <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Rasha, oh, slow down. <laughs> Girl. It looks like you've burnt off wherever you ate. Hey oh, oh, you saved me, Dennis. Even after I tried to hunt you down. Yep. I guess you want to take these back. Indeed I will. Back to Screwtop. They've been nothing but trouble. Besides, there's nothing wrong with my trusty old glasses. After that brave rescue, I'm sure the sergeant will go easy on you if you'll just explain ah. why you took Walter's uh. gold. Hmm? I didn't take it and I think I just figured out who did. Follow me. There you are! Wow! Oh, Gold! All the clues that pointed to me came from Rasha. She must have picked up the mud and the strands of my hair at the Gamma Wealth Games. Pig or not, Rasha's a gold thief! Except she's not a gold thief. Right, case closed. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Don't you all have cramped down market homes to go to? Shushy, Walter! Go on, carry on, Dennis. It was back at the Brown Mansion. I insist you stop this flashback. In all the confusion, Rasha snuffled away to the gold and took it. And why? Because the gold we were all meant to be so wowed by isn't gold. It's chocolate covered in foil. My number one truffle snuffler. 
That explains the sugar rush. Displaying an unfeasibly large fake gold exhibit, eh? Oh, that's against the law, probably. Oh. <laughs> hey, Walter. Check out Dennis's unfeasibly large reward for fraud busting and teacher saving. Pure solid 24 carat chocolate. It's me, right? Oh. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Uh -uh, no peeking. Dennis stashed all your prezzies at my place. He wants to give you them at the gig tonight. Just call me Greta Claus. Hey! Check this out! Midwinter beans from the snowy slopes of Mount Beano. They're gonna make this the blammest Christmas ever. It's Christmas TV special gold. Oh. I'm Grizzly Gorilla, and some say if you plant midwinter beans in a Yeti footprint on Christmas Eve, amazing magical adventures will follow. Others say it's a total heap of humbug. Don't say that. Paul believes in the magic of Christmas. Look, Paul, they're really, really real. And we'll prove it as soon as Nasha sniffs out a Yeti footprint to plant those beanie bad boys in. Right, Nasha? Huh? I think he's more interested in his prezzy. What could it possibly be? Forget your piffling prezzies and balmy beans. I shall make it the best Christmas ever with this. Oops! The beans! We've got to find them! I can't see them anywhere. They've been and gone. Total has beans. Sorry, everyone. It's not your fault, Pie Face. There goes the magic of Christmas. May as well go peel my sprouts. Walter, you guff bauble! You made us lose the beans! Oh, who needs magic or whatever random clutter Santa Claus might bring when Christmas can be drone dropped at your door? Thanks to wondrous Wilbercorp. Bertie, demo, now! All I want for Christmas is a blammo bike, a pancake flipper, I'd also like. <laughs> As soon as an order is placed, your money's instantly auto-paid to my father's factory. And behold! <laughs> oh, splendid! I'd like self-twirling truncheons for everyone at the station. A gift pack of rose-scented moisturising beard wax. It's for my mum sister. Mum sister. Dennis, it will still be the blammest Christmas ever, right? Even if you don't find the beans. Of course! Walter's not going to ruin it. There's still the tree, your jingle twinklers, your pies, and my presents to you all. We've got everything we need for a totally blam crimbo gig. Except our instruments. We don't want a silent night, right? <laughs> Nasha! Come on! Your maracas won't fetch themselves! <laughs> Nasha! So, I'm thinking that's a yes to the beans being magic. 
Nash has vanished up the Beano stalk. So's all our Christmas stuff. The pies, the presents, the pies, the tree, <gasps> the pies! We gotta get up there! Don't worry, Nasha! I'm coming! You realise we have absolutely no idea what's waiting for us at the top of this Beano stalk. Amazement! <laughs> Come on, Paul. Let's bring Christmas back to Beano Town. Give it up, Dennis. It's me and my drones who'll save Christmas from your beanie bungling. You'll come crawling back down empty-handed. <laughs> if you come back at all. I'll be back with Nasha and all our Christmas stuff, and we'll have a blamating crimbo gig, all before Santa arrives tonight. <laughs> Mongers up here. Check out that half pipe. Uh, more like bajillion and a half pipe. Nash is not here. Come on, we gotta find him. But what if someone takes all our Christmas stuff while we're gone? Yeah, if we don't bring this lot home, it'll prove Walter right. You'll come crawling back down empty handed. Empty handed. Empty handed. <laughs> not gonna happen. We'll take it all with us. We can use that impossibly massive roller skate. Don't be slow, ho ho. Prove how much you love your loved ones with a Wilbercourt must have mystery gift. Hmm. Oh, pity I'm does like mysteries. One mystery gift, please. Ha! That was easy. I'm sure Ruby will love whatever this is. Better get Dennis one. Oh, JJ and Parfait's too. Three mystery gifts, please. Oh, mystery mystery gift, gift for us, us too. too. System overloading. System overloading. Looks uh, a puff of um poof of pop. Uh, you don't think just maybe the system might be overloading? Whatever makes you say that. <laughs> Go with me on this. Does anyone else think we may be in a land of giants? What makes you say that? What makes who say what? What makes Dennis think we might be in a land of giant talking rodents? Giant talking rodents? Where? <laughs> oh, your faces. First time you've chatted with a rat. Are we counting, Walter? My dog Nasha is lost up here. Can you help us find him? What's in it for me? I mean, I'm no, but you just answered your own question. <laughs> Pulls off my yuletide yumsters. Oh, please. Oh, such persuasive powers. <laughs> Taste that chewy cardboardy goodness. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry what now? Wait up. Are you saying you don't have Christmas here? Never heard of it. So you don't do presents and trees or all the giving and sharing and... We've done our bit of giving and sharing. Now, where's Nasha? All right, all right. I'll show you where your missing mutt is, but you're not going to like it. <coughs> Give it up, Poochie. You're part of Winge Walter and Blunder Bertie's collection now. Just like us. 
I hate to harp on about it, but we're the lucky ones. If the giant brats get bored with you, you'll wind up as a kitty toy. <laughs> Good King Wenceslas like his pizzas? I don't know. How does Good King Wenceslas like his pizzas? Deep pan crisp and even. <laughs> Did we have to come via the sewers? These ponds are ginormous. Hmm? Well, I figured we'd take the scenic route. We haven't got time for scenic. Nasha needs us. Chillax, mini-mates. My finely honed rat nav instincts tell me the mansion's definitely this way. Oh, this rodent is rubbish. Come on, let's try this way. No, wait. You never know when you're going to run into a... Oh. 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 